does the narcissist care about losing you? Do they regret losing you? Do they care about no longer having you in their lives? The narcissist wants convenience. They want to be able to proceed without difficulty. They want comfort, ease, enjoyment and satisfaction. They want an easy and effortless way of life. They want to get their own way. They want to get or do what they want, despite the plans or desires of other people. They want everything to pan out in the way they think is best. They may act like they need you so much, but they can't help but sabotage themselves. They experience behaviors and thought patterns that hold them back and prevent them from doing what they want to do. It causes them to do the opposite of what they say they want. So they might tell you that they love and care for you. But then they will go and do the exact opposite. They will be disruptive. They will be disobedient. They will be out of control. Which is contrary to what you might expect from someone who is supposed to want help or assistance. They are very unrealistic and impractical because they have other conflicting interests which makes it difficult for them to sustain a relationship for a long period of time. And they are fully aware of this. They know that at some point the illusion is going to fall apart. They know that their mask is going to slip. They know that they're going to end up causing problems for you. They know that they're going to sabotage themselves. You can explain to them about something you don't like. And they might agree. They might tell you that they understand. But then a day or two goes by and suddenly they're doing the same thing all over again. You can't get through to them because they're not even listening to you. They're just waiting for you to finish talking. They don't really understand you and they don't want to work on anything anyway. Instead, they will use future faking. They will lie and promise about something in the future to make you think that things are going to improve. So they can get what they want from you in the present. But they have no intention of changing anything. The narcissist doesn't care about losing you as a person. They never took the time to get to know you. They never sat down with you and had a conversation with you. They never wanted to learn anything about you. 
Most of the time you spent with a narcissist revolved around them talking about their own lives, talking about what they don't like. They never had an interest in what you had to say. So of course they don't care about losing you as a person. It was never about you. It was about what you could bring to the table. You made their lives more convenient. You gave them supply. You gave them money. You were their emotional punching bag. And that is what they don't want to lose. They don't want to lose the conveniences that you brought to them. That's all it's really about. You don't mean anything to them. They don't even see you as a real person. You're just an object. You're just something they use to feel better about themselves. It's just a game. It's something they engage in for amusement and fun. You're their toy. You're just something that provides them with entertainment. Something that provides them with a distraction from reality. You have no value to them as a person. People have no value to the narcissist. It's all about what you can do for them or how you can make them feel. But it never has anything to do with you as a person. They don't get to experience that because there's no real person inside of them. And that is why, although the narcissist may say that they still want to be with you, they still do the same things that push you away. They still do the same things that make you not want to be with them. But it's still all a part of the game. It's amusing to the narcissist. It gives them attention. It makes you regard them as something interesting or important. It makes them feel like they matter to someone. And it gives them an opportunity to practice their art of manipulation. It makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel in control. They can just sit back and set all of these traps for you. And constantly make you react to everything they're doing to you. It gives them a sudden feeling of excitement and pleasure. It's a thrilling and addictive experience. They say all of these things to you and act like they want you, but really it's just a game. It's something they engage in for amusement and fun. It makes them feel alive. It makes them feel like they're worth something. But that's really all it is. That's really all it ever was. It was never 
anything serious. It was never anything significant or important. You were never involved with someone who had a purpose in what you thought you were establishing with them. Because there is no purpose. It's just a game. And this is a game that never ends. But this is something that you need to understand. Because until you understand it, you will always be questioning yourself. You will always be wondering why they said or did certain things. You will be overanalyzing every situation. When the simple answer is that they just don't see any interaction or engagement as being valuable. They don't see it as being significant. Because it's outside of them. It's outside of what they deem to be significant. What they deem to have value. And anything outside of them is just something to play with. It's something to engage in for enjoyment rather than a serious or practical purpose. It's just a game. There's no meaning to it. There is no purpose. And it's a game that never ends. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.